time for English on the Go, which means we're going to take a look at a clip sent to us from a native speaker who could be anywhere in the world. And today we have our friend Richard, who's from the United States of America. 네, 미국 뉴욕에 살고 있는 리처드 씨에게 이야기를 들어보겠습니다. Name dropping을 경험한 적이 있는지 경험한 적이 있다면 또 이야기해 줄수 있는지 또 말해봤거든요. Hmm. All right, let's call him right now. Richard 씨, 나와주세요. I remember back in 2013 when Steph and I were invited to the award show in Seoul. It took place in Seoul and other content creators from around the world were there. Hyunwoo, I think you were there as well. In fact, Megan, you were there. Everybody was there. And one of them came from England and he was name dropping other content creators from London and England. I thought it was so cool to find out about new people that were creating content, video content online. from him name dropping them because I probably wouldn't have found them on my own. And it's just great to have such a collaborative environment online that I'm very thankful now that I met that person because now I feel like I know more people. So this is a great example of using name dropping, but not to try and look cool, but 음. just to kind of inform people about other people. 맞아요. 그래서 두 가지 의미가 있는데 right. 첫 번째 의미가 그냥 실제로 name dropping 한다는 게 이제 이름을 언급해서 이런 mm-hmm. 사람도 있고 이런 사람도 있고 근데 yeah. 나 친구야 그냥 굉장히 어, 중립적으로 yeah. very neutral. Yeah, it's just neutral. 중립적으로 이야기해 주는 뜻이 있고 다른 하나는 나그 사람이랑 뭐밥 먹은 적도 있어, 뭐한 적도 있어. Yeah. 친한 척 하는 게두 번째 뜻인데요. 긍정적인 거, 부정적인 거라고 볼수 있겠죠. 방금 right. 전에는 긍정적인 것에 대해서 이야기를 해 주었어요. Yeah, so that's great that he, you know, showed us a way that name dropping can be positive. So let's go and look at everything he said line by line. I remember back in 2013 when Steph and I were invited to the award show in Seoul. I remember back in 2013 when Steph and I were invited to the award show in Seoul. 어떤 일이 기억이 납니다라고 할때 자주 쓰는 말이죠. I remember. Mm-hmm. 그리고 또 언제라고 할 때. Uh-huh. I remember. I remember back in elementary school 그렇죠. that I fell down. 네. 어렸을 때 초등학교 때 넘어졌던 거 기억이 난다고요. Yeah. 네. 그래서 back in elementary school, back in 2017, mm-hmm. 2018, 2018 아직 안 지났지만 2013. Yeah. 27. Yeah, 2017. Yeah. It could be yeah, any year. We didn't pass yet, but we 네. can still say that. And it can be a month as well. 그렇죠. I remember back in February when we were there, mm-hmm. right? Uh, 2017년, 13년에 아니면 mm-hmm. 2005년에 2005 이런 식으로 앞에 그 언제 언제 했던 mm-hmm. 것이 기억난다라고 말하고 싶을 때는요. 그냥 in 여기서처럼 2013 해도 되지만 back 하면 과거 느낌을 살려줍니다. That's right. 어떤 게 기억나냐면 when Steph, 여기 리처드 씨의 아내 이름이에요. Yes. Stephanie를 줄여서 이렇게도 많이 이야기하더라고요. Yeah, it's a shortened version of Stephanie, his wife, 네. Steph. 사람마다 많이 달라요. Stephanie라고 불리는 걸 좋아하는 사람이 있고 right. Steph 또는 Steffy, yeah. 다그 원하는 애칭이 다르죠? That's right. Everybody has a different you know, kind of nickname that they prefer. Some people only want to be called Stephanie, 음. some people like Steph, Steffy. 네. Yeah. So having said that, do not call me Megs. So many people call me Megs, Megs, and I did not give them permission to do so. <웃음> 그러면 아주 가까운 사람만 Megs라고 부를 수 있는 거예요? 아니면 그 이름이 마음에 안 드는 거예요? I just don't like it. Okay. But everyone just decides to say, hey, Megs. And I'm like, no. 네. Mm-mm. 그 Megan이라는 이름을 가진 사람을 그냥 애칭처럼 yeah. M-E-G-S? Yeah, 네. M-E-G or M-E-G-S or Z. 음, Z. But I don't like it. Okay, okay. Don't, let's not call Megs. Megan, Megs. Please, and make sure you ask people before you decide to shorten their name. <웃음> 네, 그래서 여기서는 이름이 잠깐 나와서 설명을 했고요. <웃음> Steph and I were invited to the awards show in Seoul. <웃음> 서울에 있는 시상식에 초대받았던 것이 기억나요? 라고 <웃음> 했습니다. 여기서 이제 an awards show라고 했어도 되겠지만 <웃음> the awards show라는 거는 지금 리차드 씨가 서울에서 참석했던 게딱 하나밖에 없었을 때 Right. He only, because he only participated in, or went to one award show in Seoul, 네. it's the award show. The, award show. the only one he went to, 네. right? <웃음> 딱 하나밖에 없을 때는 이렇게 쓰기도 해요. 자, 그럼 바로 다음 문장 볼까요? Mm-hmm. It took place in Seoul and other content creators from around the world were there. It took place in Seoul and other content creators from around the world were there. 자, 첫 번째로 이런 표현이 나와요. 열리다, 개최되다, 발생하다. 
take place. To take place. Mm -hmm. Take mm -hmm. place라고 하면은 happen하고도 비슷한데요. Oh yeah, you can say something happened there, and to take place is just that the event happened. 네. It took place in Seoul. 그렇죠. <웃음> 사실 사람을 주어로 해서 they held that event. 그 mm -hmm. 행사를 그들이 개최했습니다, 주최했습니다라고 mm -hmm. 해도 되는데 event가 이미 주어로 좀 나와 버렸다, 이미 언급이 yeah. 되어 버렸다. 그러면 the event. Took place. Took place. 네. 사, 사람을 yeah. 이제 주어로 쓰지는 않아요. I right. took place 이렇게는 좀 이상하고요. Right. So you don't use it for people, but if you already said the event, if the event is the subject, then the event takes place. 그렇죠. All right. 어떤 시간상의 공간을 차지하는 느낌으로 mm -hmm. 열리다, 개최하다는 뜻이고요. It took place in Seoul. 앞 문장에서 이야기했던 그 시상식이 서울에서 열렸는데 mm -hmm. and other content creators, 요즘에 인터넷에 블로그를 써서 올리는 사람, right. 비디오를 만들어 올리는 사람, 다 content creator라고 하거든요. Yeah, so these days the people on social media who upload videos and you know, upload even great pictures, vlogs, we just call them content creators. Yeah, content creators. I'm sure many content creators are also watching the show. Yeah. 네, 여러분 중에도 mm -hmm. 계실 거예요. 아무튼 mm -hmm. 제작자라고, 컨텐츠 제작자라고 할수 있겠는데요. Mm -hmm. From around the world, 세계 곳곳에서 온 사람들이 were there. Mm -hmm. 이 were를 잘쓸수 있느냐, 이 사소한 거, mm -hmm. 이 굉장히 중요한데요. 그 주어가 content creators니까 mm -hmm. was가 아니고 were여야 되는데 yes. 바로 앞에 나오는 단어가 the world여서 mm -hmm. 좀 헷갈릴 수가 있어요. Oh, that's true. You might be confused, but remember, content creators in this case was the subject. Yeah. So they were, were there. Right. They was가 아니고요. Right. They were. All right. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Hyunwoo, I think you were there as well. In fact, in fact, Megan, you were there. Everybody was there. This sentence was very quick in some parts. I think he was really excited to tell us. He says, Hyunwoo, I think you were there as well. In fact, Megan, you were there. Everybody was there. 사실 저도 잊고 있었는데요. 이 행사에 갔었다는 거. Uh -huh. <laughs> I almost forgot about this until he mentioned it. So did I. Yeah. Hyunwoo, I think you were there as well. 그, 문장들은 어렵지 않아요. Mm -hmm. 현우 씨도 그 자리에 있었어. You were there. 당신은 그곳에 있었다. As well. You too. Too라는 yeah. 거랑 똑같죠. Mm -hmm. 그리고 in fact, 갑자기 생각이 또 났죠. In fact, yeah. Megan, you were there. Yeah. <웃음> 메간 씨도 있었네요. 라고 말하면서 Everybody was there. Mm -hmm. 모두가 다 있었어요. 진짜 전부 다 모두는 아니지만 right. 알고 있는 컨텐츠 크리에이터들이 다 있었다. Right. In this case, not everybody, but 네. just the content creators that he knows. 그리고 특히 발음이 어려웠던 이유가 이제 I think you were there as well 이라고 말을 하려다가 갑자기 메간도 있었지 라고 생각이 나니까 mm -hmm. As well, in fact, 갑자기 다음으로 넘어가 버렸고 yes. Megan, you were there 라고 말을 끝내려다가 Everybody가 이제 갑자기 떠오른 거죠. 그래서 uh -huh. You were there, everybody was there. Uh -huh. 이 단어가 끝까지 발음이 안 되고 있기 때문에 mm -hmm. 더 난이도가 있었어요. That's right. So, and when we review, you'll be able to listen to that sentence one more time. But for now, let's go on to the next one. And one of them came from England, and he was name dropping other content creators from London and England. And one of them came from England, and he was name dropping other content creators from London and England. 그리고 그 content creators from around the world, mm -hmm. 많은 곳에서 이제 여러 나라에서 온 content 크리에이터들 중에서 mm -hmm. one of them 그들 중한 명이 from England 영국에서 온한 명이 mm -hmm. 어, 영국에서 왔었는데, and he was name dropping other content crea creators mm -hmm. from. London in England. Mm -hmm. 그러니까 그분도 런던 출신이고 그분이 그 영국의 런던에 있는 다른 그 제작자들의 이름을 언급을 했대요. 이 사람도 아시나요? 이 사람도 아시나요? Mm -hmm. 그 사람이랑 어떤 작업했어요? 이름을 언급한 거예요. He was mentioning the names of other content creators. Yes, he was just mentioning or telling them about other content creators. In London. 네. 근데 여기까지만 들으면 사실 그 부정적인 의미로 쓰인 건지 긍정적인 의미로 쓰인 건지 알기가 좀 힘들어요. Right. So from right here, you don't know if he was using it in a positive or negative way yet, but we'll find out next. Yes. Maybe? All right. Let's move on to the next one. I thought it was so cool to find out about new people that were creating content, video content online, from him name dropping them. So we know right away that it's positive, right? So he says, 
I thought it was so cool to find out about new people that were creating content, video content online from him name dropping them. 워낙 그 name dropping 또는 dropping names라는 이 용어 자체가 부정적인 의미로 좀 싫다라는 의미로 많이 쓰이다 보니까 yeah. 그 사람 뭐그 그 유명인이랑 친한 척해라는 그런 의미로 쓰이다 보니까 yeah. 아까 리차드 씨의 말을 듣자마자 거기까지만 듣고는 아그 다음에 이제 I thought it was so cool이라고 말하지 않고 I thought it was so lame이라든지 oh, yeah. I thought it was so bad라든지 yeah. 안 좋은 쪽으로 말이 나올 줄 알았어요. Yeah, or I thought he was so annoying, annoying. right? You might think he's going to say something bad, but 음. he didn't say those. He said it was so cool. 네, 갑자기 저로서는 사실 반전이었는데요. Yeah. 어, 그래서 I thought it was so cool, 어, 멋지다고 생각했습니다. To find out about. Find out about 하면 은 뭐뭐에 대해서 알게 된다라는 뜻이에요. Mm-hmm. Find, 찾는 거지만 find out, 알게 되다. Mm-hmm. 뭐에 대해서 알게 되다, find out. About. about 사실 처음 이 표현을 접했을 때는 뭐 이렇게 복잡해 <웃음> Why is this expression so complicated? Uh, 이렇게 yeah. 생각할 수 있는 표현이에요. Find out about yeah. uh, new people 새로운 사람들에 대해서 알게 되어서 멋지다고 생각했어요. Mm-hmm. That were creating content, mm-hmm. video content online. 컨텐츠를 즉 인터넷상으로 비디오 컨텐츠를 만드는 사람들에 대해서 알게 되어서 멋지다고 생각해요. 그런데 무엇을 통해서? From, from him name dropping them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 이 구조도 잘 알아두세요. From someone doing something. Yeah. So I found out about this restaurant from Megan mentioning it. Oh, I found out about h e n u s i m from the internet. <laughs> uh-huh. From the internet, 거기서 끝내도 되고, from other people doing something, talking about. Oh yeah, so it can be from a place or a thing, or it could be from someone doing something. 맞아요. 그 someone doing something 형태가 여기에 쓰였고, mm-hmm. from the internet도 괜찮네요. Yeah. 좋아요. 자, 그럼 다음 문장으로 바로 넘어가 볼까요? Mm-hmm. Because I probably wouldn't have found them on my own. Because I probably wouldn't have found them on my own. Why it was so cool 이라고 생각을 했느냐 면 right. Because I probably wouldn't have found them on my own. Mm-hmm. 여기서 말하는 on my own이라는 것은 그냥 혼자서 alone yeah. by myself. Yeah. Without anyone telling me. Yeah, without help. 네. Mm-hmm. 그래서 혼자 할수 있어요? Can you do it on your own? 이렇게 말할 수도 yeah. 있고요. Yes, you can ask. Can you do it on your own? Yes, I can do it on my own. On my own 또는 I can do it myself. I can do mm-hmm. it by myself. Mm-hmm. I can do it without your help. Yes, without help or on my own. <웃음> 네. 그런데 그래서 그 on my own을 어디에 붙였냐면 왜 좋았냐면요. I probably 아마도 wouldn't have found them on my own. Mm-hmm. 혼자서는 그 지금 리차드 씨는 미국 사람이었고 한국에 살고 있었는데 yeah. 영국 크리에이터들을 알게 되기가 힘들잖아요. Of course, because he's not even in England or even in an English speaking country. Yes. 그래서 가정을 하고 있습니다. 가정인데 mm-hmm. 과거에 대해서 부정으로 가정을 하고 있어서 복잡해요. I yeah. wouldn't have Found found them. Them. 그 사람이 말을 안 해줬더라면 못 찾았을 테니까요. Right. 네, 복잡하지만 파악되셨죠? Yeah. Okay, why don't we move on to the next one? And it's just great to have such a collaborative environment online. And it's great to have such a collaborative environment online. 네, 이 문장에 이제 it's just great 이렇게 just도 들어갔는데요. Mm-hmm. 어, 강조하는 거죠. Mm-hmm. Just, just great. Emphasize. It's just great. 네, just great. Just라는 거는 물론 뭐뭐뿐, only라는 yeah. 의미도 있는데 yeah. 여기서는 그런 뜻은 아니에요. Right. In that case, it doesn't mean only. He just wanted to emphasize how great it is. Yeah. It's only great. It's not bad. 이런 의미 아니고 그냥 nope. it's really great. Awesome. 네, yeah, it is awesome. <웃음> to have such a collaborative. Collaborative. Collaborative라는 거는 이제 공동의, mm-hmm. 협력의라는 말인데요. Mm-hmm. Collaborative, 이걸 보시면 은 여러분이 많이 들어보셨을 collaborate라고 하는 동사와 연결이 됩니다. Collaborate 하면 은 협력하다, collaborate. 그리고 collaboration까지 쓰게 되면요. 협력, 공동 작업을 가리키는데 이게 좀 외우기 힘들다면 그 col 이 부분을 co, co로 생각하시면 은 이제 함께라는 뜻이고요. Company. co-ed 이런 것처럼 laborate 이 부분이 이제 labor 노동과 관련이 있어요. 함께 노동하는 거, 함께 일하는 거. 그래서 co-labor, collaborate 그리고 
이 줄에서는 collaborative라는 형용사 형태가 쓰였습니다. 그래서 전체를 다시 보면 이제 온라인으로 그렇게 협력하는 환경이 있다는 것이 좋다고 생각합니다. That's right. And actually these days a lot of people shorten it and they just say collab. We did a collab together. So that's an option. You might see that a lot on social media in particular. 그래서 C O L L A B까지만 쓰인다는 mm-hmm. 거고요. Mm-hmm. 가끔씩은 이제 이게 줄임말이다 보니까 좀더 재미있게 바꿔 쓰기도 해요. 우리는 이제 그거를 외래어처럼 콜라보라고 하는데 영어에서는 콜라보라고 하지 않고 collab 또는 collab이라고 하는 경우도 봤어요. Oh yeah, I've seen that as well. Collab or just collab. collab. So it's great for you to know those as well. 네, 자 그리고 마지막 문장 남았습니다. That I'm very thankful now that I met that person because now I feel like I know more people. That I'm very thankful now that I met that person because now I feel like I know more people. 그래서 이제 협력하는 그런 공간이 사람들이 이제 온라인 상으로 알고 지내니까 mm-hmm. 다른 행사 갔을 때도 이렇게 말을 해주는 게 mm-hmm. 좋아서 that I'm very thankful now. 이제 고맙게 생각합니다. 지금은 yeah. that I met that person. 3년 4년 전이지만 right. 그 사람을 만났다는 거에 대해서 고맙게 생각합니다. Because mm-hmm. now I feel like I know more people. 이제 그 사람 덕분에 사람을 더 많이 아는 것 같거든요. 하고 이야기가 끝났어요. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much for that clip, Richard. We're going to review and take a look at it just one more time. I remember back in 2013 when Steph and I were invited to the award show in Seoul. It took place in Seoul and other content creators from around the world were there. Hyunwoo, I think you were there as well. In fact, Megan, you were there. Everybody was there. And one of them came from England, and he was name-dropping other content creators from London and England. I thought it was so cool to find out about new people that were creating content, video content online, from him name-dropping them, because I probably wouldn't have found them on my own. And it's just great to have such a collaborative environment online that I'm very thankful now that I met that person, because now I feel like I know more people. One, two, three, and...